Well, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another edition of the Urban Compass. We have another great show for you today. It's, it's a little bit about writing, but you know, we always start our show off with giving you great information. So you're going to want to get your pencil and paper ready right now because my first two guests are phenomenal ladies out there doing great work in the community. One is an author and the other is president of an organization that I know most of you watching belong to. I want to turn it over right now and introduce you to Miss Beverly Powers, who wrote the book, uh, the, the Perfect in Perfect Timing. Bam! Imperfect Timing by Beverly Powers is here in the studio today, and we have the president of the AARP Delaware State, Miss Rashmi Ragon, who is going to Hi. be on. Pardon? Hi. <laughs> Hi. All right. Now, uh, Rashmi Ragon is uh, the president of AARP Delaware State, and she's here to talk to us a little bit about fraud. Uh, and, and, and how it impacts uh, uh, particularly seniors, but everybody and everything else, AARP. Welcome to the show, ladies. Thank you, Linwood. Thank you. Beverly, let's start with you. Tell All us right. about your book. All right, well, we're going to start off with my children's book. As you know, I have four children's books that I self-published. The first one is The Crooked Old Tree. And I like to write about teaching children morals and values. And this book is about being kind. It, a little boy is the only one that takes a moment to do something kind to help someone, and he ended up winning the treasure, the secret, the magical treasure. Mm -hmm. And my next book is Birthday Present for Homer, of which I also illustrated this book before I found other illustrators. This teaches children about telling the truth. Homer found a birthday present, he came across a birthday present that he did not like and he decided to hide. And when he heard his best friend calling for him, he decided to come out and tell the truth and Homer learned a very valuable lesson about telling the truth. Okay. Okay. And my third children's book is called Peaches Gets a Pet. Now Peaches is a very endearing little girl who's on a quest to find the perfect pet. Her mother takes her all over to look at all kinds of exotic animals, and she ends up finding the perfect pet in her own backyard. And I like to relate that to that's just how life is. We go all over looking for love and everything else in the right, all the wrong places, but we find out that we have everything that we need right in our own backyard. Interesting. So your books are about uh, giving life lessons. Yes. Uh, yes, values and morals and making good decisions mm -hmm. for and, young people. And uh, for the young people, but you also have adult books too. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I do. I have Imperfect Timing, which is my latest uh, novel. It's the first book of my series. And this is about, it's a Christian romance suspense with a lot of twists and turns in the storyline. Mm -hmm. I take my readers deep into the characters because. Um, they both had suffered a tragedy, and they have to learn to get beyond all their stuff and drama to find love. Wow. How long have you been writing? I've been writing since I was a teenager. Okay. Yes. And not too many years ago. Yeah, well. Not long, but you got five <laughs> yeah. books out in, yes, in a short books. period yes. of time. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. I, I was uh, fortunate and blessed enough to retire recently in 2014, and so I uh, combined and took my stories and put them together and decided to do a lot of research and, and self-publish them myself. Where does your inspiration come from? My inspiration comes from life. Uh, my inspiration comes from God, of course, and I, I love to talk and hold conversations with people. And discovering that, especially with women, we go through so much and we hurt so much and we have a lot of things that's going on inside of us that we just don't always get to the root of it all and these hurts and emotional pain that we have sometimes causes so much destructive behavior and lifestyle until we get to the root of it you know that we're going to continue to repeat this cycle you know that's interesting uh, you're absolutely right uh, but you're, you're writing to the young folks and teaching them how to deal with life circumstances yes. at a young age through your books yes. is, is a pretty interesting dynamic to me. Uh, yes. You're catching them early, hopefully yes. as they grow older. Yes. 
they, they'll they'll remember those lessons yes. and and apply them to life. Um, you know, we, I always speak all the time about uh, uh, trying to 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 talk out our our issues and our mm -hmm. problems. You know, mm -hmm. if you got a problem with somebody, speak on it. You know, yes. talk about it. Open yes. the, the door to dialogue uh, and try to resolve our conflicts mm -hmm. without resorting to violence. Right. And I right. presume that's what you're right. Writing so yes, and a lot of times we find out that the conflicts are not really what we think they are. You know, it's They're all about a, a perception. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody's perception, they just blew it all out of proportion. Yes, absolutely. That and the answer is right there in their own backyard. Yeah, Look right within. in their backyard, yes. yes. Too cool, too yes. cool. Has there, uh, any of your uh, books been in uh, uh, plays or movies? No, I actually have written a couple of plays and directed a couple of plays myself. Um, I'm looking forward to doing something with this series in the future, and we'll hear more about that later on. So I, mm -hmm. I may do a screen or play with my Love Undercover series. All right, all right. <laughs> uh, stay tuned. Yes. Stay tuned. Yes. All right, I want to go to our, our next guest who is mm -hmm. president of uh, AARP and, and uh, uh, the state of Delaware, and she's here to talk to us a little bit about fraud. All right. And what to watch out for. <sighs> Well, Linwood, it's such a delight to be here and listening to you and the stories and your writing career is just impressive. Oh, thank and you. And those children's books, I'm a grandma, mm -hmm. so these books are going to be so valuable. Mm -hmm. uh, some of us don't know how to deal with the uh, issues and how to teach these mm -hmm. to our kids mm -hmm. and as adults we don't know how to deal with our lives mm -hmm. so it's been really remarkable and my daughter wants to be an author okay. so I got to get some tips yes. from you yes. Yes. on how to do that. papers ready because yes. we That's all right. want tips on yeah. writing. Mm -hmm. so, uh, so, mm -hmm. I'm sorry. so as pres uh, state president of AARP Delaware, AARP is a national organization. Uh, its founder Dr. Ethel Percy Anderson, uh, over about 55 years ago, found her retired school teacher, who had worked all her life, live in a chicken coop. And she couldn't believe in America, someone that worked all her life couldn't afford to live comfortably and mm. with dignity. So AARP has been its roots are about giving us the opportunity to live with dignity. We do a lot of advocacy work. We do a lot of education and outreach. In that same theme of preserving, protecting our finances, the Fraud Watch Network was launched many years ago. Did you know every two seconds somebody's identity is stolen mm. every two seconds. So the Fraud Watch Network, and it's very simple. You don't have to be a member. You don't have to be old. Anyone, young, old, millennials, Gen Xers, are welcome to go to aarp.org slash Fraud Watch Network. It's a tremendous tool. It is free. You're going to learn about the most recent scam in your area. So what's going on right here in zip code 19801? It's like staying one step with or ahead of the scammers. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, if you get that phone call, uh, uh I read about it, I got an alert, and it said, you might get this phone call so I can hang up. So that's really what Fraud Watch Network is. Mm -hmm. It's a resource. It is helping you stay ahead of the game. It is preventing fraud from happening, but sometimes you can't prevent it. So when it happens, what do you do? So it's yet another resource, a hotline, so they can walk you through step by step what next. Mm -hmm. I, uh, y you're right, um, you know, most of us throughout our lifetime have been scammed. There's a con artist out there all over the place yes. knocking on your doors mm -hmm. through the mail, mm -hmm. uh, the, the phone call, as, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. um, what are some of the scams that the AARP uh, Fraud Watch Network 
since scam, you know, scammers are always ahead mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. uh, the victims. Mm -hmm. So uh, ARP is very agile, very mobile. It's financial fraud, financial mm -hmm. scams, healthcare scams, uh, core issues that we believe in. So the latest is, and it's probably not the latest, it's always there mm -hmm. when the, you get the phone call, this is the IRS, mm -hmm. you owe us money. Mm -hmm. If you don't pay, we will put you behind bars. Mm -hmm. Now, IRS does not make phone calls. Mm -hmm. Although in this year, they have um, outsourced collections. Mm -hmm. So there might be people calling on behalf of the IRS. But the best advice is to go to Fraud Watch Network, sign up so you will stay tuned. Mm -hmm. Before you do anything, part with money. Mm -hmm. Make sure you contact someone Two heads are always better than one. Mm -hmm. And some fraud, I mean, particularly uh, the heart, the ones that touch your heart and pull your heartstrings, mm -hmm. a phone call, uh, oh, your grandson, your child is involved in an accident mm -hmm. and uh, send wire money I immediately mm -hmm. because the hospitals aren't admitting that. All those should be red alerts, red flags, well, if you will. Yes, mm -hmm. but, but when you're sitting here, you don't know. Maybe it mm -hmm. could be true because the scammers know a whole lot mm -hmm. about you. So I would suggest then, and uh, that they call the person that the, the scammers or the phone calls about, mm -hmm. you know, personally the family member or what have you, mm -hmm. and speak to them directly. Yeah, I know you also have a lot about the home improvement uh, scammers. Yes. They want to yes. come up in, the, in a truck or something and knock mm -hmm. on your door, you need this, that, and the other. Mm -hmm. How much does it cost? Is, is there a cost with, the, uh, with regards to the, the fraud network for the ARP? Fraud Watch Network is absolutely free. Anyone can sign up. And in fact, we should sign up if we are smart so that we can stay one step ahead of uh, becoming a victim. Because once a victim, there is a saying, an ounce of prevention is better than a pound of cure. Mm -hmm. So Fraud Watch Network is prevention. Plus you get alerts, you get information of what's happening in your neighborhood. Mm -hmm. It could be the Shred Fest that the ARP Delaware hosts about twice a year. Mm -hmm. So there are fun things that we do uh, in addition to information, but helping you um, d uh, walk, you know. Uh, you, mean, you mean when you become a member of the ARP? Mm -hmm. Or did we talk about that? I am a member of the ARP. I didn't bring my ARP card today, <laughs> but I am a, a proud card carrying member of the ARP, and I get a lot of benefits out of yes. it, actually. Uh, yes. uh, you know, I discounts on rental cars and, and mm -hmm. uh, uh, travel, if you will. So a mm -hmm. lot of information on uh, the AARP.org mm -hmm. website and uh, free of charge, and, and uh, sometimes I get on it, mm -hmm. I spend too much time mm -hmm. on it, I can't get off, there's so much information uh, that you guys are putting out over there. Yeah. I know you have the defensive driving course that you offer uh, uh, people. Um, yes. Uh, uh, you, you mentioned the shredding mm -hmm. uh, truck that comes around a, mm -hmm. a couple of times a year, and that's mm -hmm. important to get rid of those documents. Right. Uh, uh, yes. So that the scammers can't mm -hmm. find them, mm -hmm. that's another way that they Mm -hmm. that they, they, they try to try to jack up your finances. The next thing you know, you're losing everything. Right. Uh, they're right. still your identity. Mm -hmm. So our CEO right now, Joanne Jenkins, has published a book, Disrupt Aging. Hmm. It's a beautiful book, but more importantly, it's a call to action. You talked about membership. Uh, in these very times, AARP is working incredibly hard to protect our security, our financial security, mm -hmm. our health security. So membership does have advantages, right? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. You have a voice, but join this call to action. We want to be a vibrant community. We are, when Joanne Jenkins says disrupt aging, it's not like, oh, uh, 55 is the new 40. No, uh, 55 is the new 55, <laughs> right? You know? uh, why not own what you are, the vibrant, mm. the giver? You have so much to give to the community. So 
Well, you're you're absolutely right. Uh, I didn't want to go there. You know, I don't want to claim mine. I'm going back. But anyhow, I like I like that the, you know the new forty is the fifty being a new forty or whatever. But I, I got you. I got you. Uh, but uh, to your point, though, there, there is a lot of things out there. A lot of activities we can be doing. I believe the AARP has a life reimagine program. Right. Yes. And uh, uh, to reimagine your life, I started. I didn't start writing yet. Uh, that's what we have Beverly Powers on, on mm -hmm. the show uh, to, to explain more to us uh, about writing. Uh, but I got into acting, dancing, and, and performing, you know. Uh, 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 I retired as well okay. uh, after retirement, mm -hmm. you know. So there's a lot of mm -hmm. things that people can do. Right. Uh, uh, they, mm -hmm. uh, you know, re retirement, if, is that a is that a, they need to take that mm -hmm. word out. It's not the same as it used to be. It's not mm -hmm. like people envision you sitting in the rocking chair, mm -hmm. you know, with the grandkids, like mm -hmm. the, the olden days, uh, the people retiring young. I think I retired from four occupations already, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, you just go to one to the next. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, Life Reimagined programs that you guys have mm -hmm. uh, tries to inspire mm -hmm. uh, people to do more mm -hmm. and get become mm -hmm. active in the yes. community and the ARP does have a lot of uh, presentations if you will throughout the year oh yes uh, uh, all over I know you guys are work with the YWCA and other organizations and we do teletown halls mm -hmm. on fraud on nursing issue I mean uh, name the issue that we are engaged in mm -hmm. there is word that we try to get out we work as partners mm -hmm. we are not in this alone we mm -hmm. are in this together together we can <coughs> so, ARP nowadays has that tagline, real possibilities. Mm -hmm. We see real possibilities in everyone. You see any possibility? <laughs> that, that's very good, uh -huh. and, and I, I concur. I think it's a beautiful thing. Check out ARP.org right now. Well, after this show, then check them out and, <laughs> and, and sign up. <laughs> sign up some of these programs. Beverly, you know, all of these books you wrote, these fabulous uh, uh, series you have coming up, uh, um, uh, what advice would you give anyone listening who may want to start writing? Do you have writing clinics? Do you teach writing? Yes, I do. I, I do writing workshops. Um, they are intensive, and I pull out what's in you. I, uh, I teach my students to write from their passion. Everybody has a story to mm -hmm. tell. And I teach them how to master the power of telling the story. Okay, and but I have a, a story to tell, okay. and, but my problem is putting pen to paper. In mm -hmm. fact, do they still use pen and paper when you're writing a book? Well, a lot of times, yes, we as writers, we do. I always encourage, and I'm going to encourage you, okay. to keep a tablet and a pencil with you at all times. Inspiration comes at different times, mm -hmm. different ways. You could wake up from a dream. You could wake up from sleeping. You could be driving down the street. Uh, you could be watering a plant. You could get a message. You can get an inspiration. I also keep my recording by me on my phone. Mm -hmm. I'm driving down the street and I'm recording because, you know, the story's happening. You know, I'm getting a story in my head. I'm, uh, my characters, they talk to me. They tell me, you know, what they're thinking. It's all a part of the creativity. I'm mm -hmm. not saying, you know, characters as I'm hearing voices. But when, <laughs> when you're writing a oh, story, <laughs> when you're writing a story, you're living, you're eating, you're breathing, you're becoming a part of the story, and the story is a part of you. And mm -hmm. your characters are so real mm -hmm. that they will kind of guide the way the story is going. And I think that's, uh, that's very unique and fun. And so I suppose the message you're saying is, is listen to your inner self and let it out and put it on. Yes, bring yes. It, uh, when I teach my I teach my student to do just what I call a mind dump. You sit down and we write. You time yourself. You're going to write for 20 minutes. You're not going to worry about the squiggly lines on the computer because that would throw you off. You're not going to worry about the word smell, uh, the word spelling or the word smithing. You're just going to write whatever's in you, and then you go back and you edit. That's the part of writing. You write, you write, you rewrite, and you write some more. I didn't think young folks were writing, though. Yes, yes, yes. I thought I, they yes, just, uh, taught, just the age of computers, yes, isn't it? Well, they are, everybody has a story to tell. <laughs> and, some and people's stories is uh, through music, some is through drama. But and I'd getting like it to, out the, the, yes. the best way is the old-fashioned way, pen yes. and paper is still and paper, uh, relevant. Yes. Do you have a favorite application? Uh, a computer app that you uh, use no, for writing? I no, I basically, I uh, use a Word, a Word document. 
Microsoft, Microsoft Word documents. Okay. Yes, I do have a writing program which I haven't used, but I find the document because I have a working doc, mm -hmm. and then uh, and then I put things into order. So I'll do my mind dump, and then I'll go back and I'll put it in, weave it into the story. How long does it take you to write a children's book? Well, a children's book, sometimes the way the inspiration comes, I can write a children's book within a couple of hours. Wow. Yes. I mean, really, literally? Yes, mm -hmm. yes. Mm -hmm. I can write it. Now, writing it is one thing. Going mm -hmm. back and editing it and getting it mm -hmm. edited and pulling the characters out mm -hmm. of it. Well, yes. you, have, you have about eight of them. Let's, let's yes. see if we can get that yes. one off. This one here mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. Peaches. Mm -hmm. Gets a pet. Mm -hmm. This is the one. Now, it, it, I know you, you didn't illustrate this one, but you no. did speak. What's an illustrator? An illustrator is, is, is the artisan that's going to take the book mm -hmm. and draw mm -hmm. the pictures to your story. Mm -hmm. And there's um, different ways to do that. If you go through the mainstream uh, uh, publishing, going through a publishing house, mm -hmm. you have to be very direct in your story, how you want them to illustrate it, because you may write a story and you're seeing a little boy in the story, but the illustrator may see it as a puppy. Hmm. So if you don't write in your story that it's a that it's a little boy, your story when you get it back may be a puppy. Now, d do you do uh, uh, comic books as well? No, no. Okay. I, I I'm yeah. looking into doing graphic novels. I love graphic novels. As a matter of fact, that's one of the number one seller among mm -hmm. our young people mm -hmm. are graphic novels. Mm -hmm. The but fourth little piggy. Yes. Now. What and happened? Yes, the fourth <laughs> little piggy. <laughs> this character, she kept speaking to me. I kept hearing, everybody knows about the three little pigs, but did you know that they had a sister? And so this is where the fourth little piggy was born. Okay. Mm -hmm. I just had a contest because the fourth little piggy needs a name. So I'm going to be releasing that in my newsletter, which I want to put a plug in here. You can go to my website at ArthurUEnterprises.com, and you can sign up for my writing classes, my workshops, and I would love to work with you to help get that story, help you master the power of your story. All right. Now, where do you give your classes? Um, I go to different places. I, I held uh, just recently held a a writings class down at the Middletown Chamber of Commerce. Mm -hmm. So I go around to different facilities and um, um, rooms and stuff. So I'm looking to get my own writing workshop soon. Great. Uh, uh, and you do uh, book signings? and Yes, I have done different events, book signings where I go out and I meet the public and I sign, uh, autograph my books to them and get to, to meet them, meet my readers. And I'm just so happy. Uh, and I thank you all who, who are helping to make my books best sellers um, they also are on amazon.com i um, have them on kindle where you can buy imperfect timing and there's part one part two and part three so there's different ways that you can you can purchase the book mm -hmm. and i i met you out at the uh, i think it was in the newark uh when you were signing the Christian, you did a, yes yes you did, yeah, the and, Hamilton and you just and came yes. off your book tour yes, yes. and what are some of the places you've been when you were on tour? Um, I went recently went down to a Christian's writer, uh, readers uh, retreat where the readers and the authors got together with the readers. And we had a wonderful time. It was in Charlotte, North Carolina. Mm -hmm. And I got to meet some of the um, most wonderful authors that uh, write women's fiction, write uh, romance mm -hmm. in uh, Charlotte, North Carolina. So All Vanessa right. Miller, she's a very well-known author. She put on the first Christian book lovers and writers retreat. So, yeah. and you have a team. Do you have a team to help you write? Uh, I know you mentioned your illustrator. Yes, I your editor. I, I have a, a professional editor. Mm -hmm. um, it's it's so funny when you're writing, you you hear the story, but a lot of times it's not like you think it is. And you, no matter how many times you read it over and over and over. You, your, your eyes, your brain is just trained to read what you think should be there. Mm -hmm. So that's why it's always good to get someone else to read behind and wordsmith it. And, you know, Beverly, did you mean to say that word? It's mm -hmm. like, no, heavens no, I didn't mean that word. Mm -hmm. So, and even the computer, I, I play my words on my computer speech mm -hmm. and it'll put words in there. Mm -hmm. So, Interesting. Yes. There's another uh, computer app. Yes. Or, or writer's <laughs> yes. app. Yes. Yes. All right. Um, Rashmi, uh, uh, president of AARP, um, you, you guys have any events coming up? 
Uh, I don't know right now, but I'm mm. sure we have teletown halls coming up. Mm. Uh, just sign up, ARP.org. And, and you'll Call find us. out everything that's going on in the state mm. of Delaware as, mm. as well as in, in, the, in the country. Uh, I know you guys are putting on Fraud Watch uh, network campaigns uh, mm. uh, uh, all over the place and, and coming up. I might have to sign up. You, you take volunteers? Oh, yes. Uh, How important are volunteers at ARP? For the organization AARP, it is volunteer driven. That is where the tax aid, every single one is a volunteer. Um, our life reimagine is run by a volunteer. I am a volunteer. So AARP's strength comes from its members. And members are an incredibly important core of an organization. So while we are talking about AARP and I'm talking about membership strength, there is another organization that I founded and that is the credit union. So uh, our viewers I'm sure have heard about Stepping Stones Community Federal Credit Union no, five no, years no, no, young. I wouldn't, I wouldn't take that for granted <laughs> that they know about it. I didn't know about it. Tell us about it. So um, five years ago, uh, actually on September 30th, 2011, National Credit Union Administration issued one charter in all of the United States. And that charter was issued to Stepping Stones Community Federal Credit Union at 603 North Church Street, right across from Old Swedes Church. Mm -hmm. So in tiny little east side in the city of Wilmington, and out of all over the US, during the financial crisis, when regulators were shutting down doors, not opening new banking doors, we got a member-owned financial institution. Two years later, it is certified minority-owned financial institution. So this is a growth trajectory that is moving very slowly. The power of membership for the credit union's potential and profitability and serving the community is all dependent on its members. So we need to grow our members. And what Likewise, do members receive? You can get uh, loans, automobile loans, home loans? So uh, to become a member at the credit union, you have to right now physically come into the credit union during the times we are open with your driver's license, social security card, and at least $5. That makes you a member. And as a member, you are part owner. You don't get interest. You get a dividend because you own the credit union. And ownership means you elect officers. As an owner, you can hire and fire. Yeah. You can do a lot of product development. So in product development, we have to savings. That's our focus. And then lending, certainly, that's how a credit union can make money. Mm -hmm. But more importantly, can serve the community. Very so we important. are pitching ourselves as an alternate to high cost, low dollar lenders. So ours are fixed cost, short term, uh, individual loans up to 5000 new and used automobile loans up to 15 You guys have a website? Yes, Stepping Stones Community, CFCU.org. Stepping Stones Community, Credit Union.org. Check them out. I told you at the top of the hour, you're going to need your pen and paper out because we gave you a lot of information and uh, uh, it's from two phenomenal uh, ladies doing great work in the community. And with that, I want to thank you guys for coming on thank um, you, uh, uh, and sharing this information with us. And we're going to take a break. and we come back, we're going to have some more phenomenal uh, uh, people doing work out in our community. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Fall, we will elect people that will create.